There are 24 assault rifles in Call of Duty Mobile and for each assault rifle there are multiple skins. But what can possibly be the best skin for a given assault rifle? Today we're gonna find that. If I tell you about the criteria or the priority of selection, the main thing I have considered is the iron sight because that's what really helps you in the game. And then of course we are going to talk about the appearance of the blueprint. So let's start with the first assault rifle in the list, the Type 25. For Type 25 we have two skins that I consider are the best. First one is the Type 25 Horseman's pick. Now this is my best pick. It has a pay to win iron sight, it's a legendary and also it is a reactive legendary. However, we have another skin that I consider is one of the best. This is the most recent legendary for the Type 25 and it also has a very clean iron sight. Is it better than the Horseman's pick? It really depends on what you like. Since this is not a reactive skin, I consider the Horseman's pick to be the best. Next we move on to the M16. I don't think there is any skin in Call of Duty Mobile that can come with this m16 legendary skin this has literally everything m16 wanted it has a pay to win iron sight does not come with the ghost ring very obstructive iron sight that the m16 usually has it's a legendary and you know basically it has everything a legendary has really good kill effect which is very unique and i also like the color combination because it's my channel's color you know m16 was always one of my favorite guns but it has the burst fire however recently we got the full auto perks so that now it is full auto Moving on to the AK-117, again we do have two skins to consider. Now truly this depends on your preferences. If you are more into inbuilt retro type iron sights, you would like this skin you see right here. Also I really don't think I can miss M with this type of iron sight. The other skin that I consider the best is a legendary skin. It also has a single point iron sight which is easier to use and also it is musical. The firing sound itself is a music, it's just so beautiful. The kill effect is also amazing and again I like the colors because you know it's in my channel now we move on to the probably the most used assault rifle in call of duty mobile that's the ak-47 for ak-47 also we do have two skins you already know the first one yes that's the mythic ak-47 radiance it also has a pay to win iron sight literally an inbuilt red dot that looks like a red dot and since it has the tactical spin which is not available for legendaries or epics that's going to help you a lot especially in multiplayer however even though this mythic ak-47 is super for multiplayer personally i like the ak-47 frost brand for battle royale i don't really know the reason i believe it's the tactical sprint because the tactical sprint itself feels like more engaging therefore when in a multiplayer match i think it's the better choice to be honest frost brand's red dot is more clear than the radiance red dot or oh, it could be just me what do you guys think let me know in the comment section now we move on to the asm-10 for asm-10 we had multiple types of fine signs out of them all i found this asm-10 legendary the best one this is the most recent legendary for the sm10 again i don't recall the name check the description it's there it also has a very unique theme like japanese arts theme and it is so fun to use especially when you score a kill it feels different one of the most fun legendaries i have ever used with that we move on to m4 your favorite weapon in the game the first weapon you get to use right for m4 the second legendary m4 thermal shroud is my best pick the reason why it's in there is that the iron side is literally unbeatable i don't think any other m4 skins can compete with this iron side it is such a nice clean iron side to use in both multiplayer and battle royale the effects of the gun are not that interesting to be honest but considering how much it will help you to get the upper hand in a gunfight this skin should be the best one with that we move on to the bk-57 now in my previous video the best bk-57 i have considered is an epic skin which came out after this legendary but after using this legendary for some time i realized that this one is easier to use and is much better since it is a legendary compared to that epic skin the single pointer of this iron sight is very hard to see but with practice when you use it more and more often you will get used to it and it is one of the best skins ever literally the best bk57 skin in the game such a tiny iron sight this would be the tiniest single pointer iron sight i have ever seen in call of duty mobile now we move on to lk24 for lk24 in my previous video i showed you the anime type legendary but here we have the second legendary skin for the lk24 i know appearance wise the other legendary is better but considering how much it will be useful in a gunfight i believe this one is much better and i literally played rank with this weapon although lk24 is not meta this season so you know what i'm talking about this is also a reactive skin although it is an average looking legendary it is literally the best to put lk24 into good use for the icr1 the best skin i can 
can see that is a legendary and just pretty much old i guess the second legendary for the icr1 this is also considered as one of the best legendaries they have ever made this literally has one of the best iron sights for the icr1 and it has a kill counter too that is really interesting that's not the only case the reactive stages completely change the look of the gun it's like water to lava that sort of thing and it's one of the best skins in the game and undoubtedly the best icr1 skin in the game now we move on to the tough guy man of war for man of war there are multiple different legendaries even we have a prestige version and loads of epic skins with different different types of iron sights now true there are some iron sights which are better than the others but considering this is also a legendary and also a very easy iron sight to use i believe this one is the best skin for the man of war in any given day this is also a very underrated legendary i have never seen anybody use this legendary at all i don't know why the iron sight is like a single pointer but also you see the glass plate like it's so futuristic i like it then we move on to the kn44 although we have three legendaries two of them are trash i'm serious the only good legendary for the kn44 is the latest legendary we got that is kn44 mystic fox this one definitely has the most pay to win iron sight for the kn44 it's just super easy to use also the kill effect sounds really cool so mysterious oh man how many guns left this is going to be a long video after kn44 we have hbra3 for hbra3 we also have two skins that i consider as the best both of them are clearly paid to win one of them comes with the digital iron sight but it has its pros and cons the pros you already know the cons the effects are really disturbing the effects you'd see when you fully ads around the gun it's really going to hurt your field of view it's just so absurd and that's why i came up with another skin that is the second legendary for the hbra3 and this one has very minimal effects compared to that one and the iron sight is easy to use not as great as the previous one but considering how much easier it is to use we can consider this as one of the best skins for the hbra3 so it really depends on what you like and now we move on to the hvk30 hvk30 is another gun that is very underrated nobody freaking use it i don't know why for hvk30 we have custom iron sights i think like less than 10 and out of them all this one is the best and also it's a legendary but this one comes with a pay to win iron sight and it's so fun to use you can literally ko your enemies now we move on to the drh drh is probably one of the most used guns in multiplayer ranked because it was made up for so long still some people use it for drh we have another underrated epic skin which has a digital iron sight and when you use this gun trust me it doesn't feel like a drh that's why i like it you can literally see your enemy it doesn't matter where he jumped whether he's prone what not this aim cannot miss it this aim doesn't miss it so this is like the best aim you can get for the drh and this was in a crate so not many people have this skin now we move on to peacekeeper for peacekeeper we do not have a lot of skins trust me we have very few and custom iron sights very very few out of them all we have mythic peacekeeper which has a tactical sprint and then iron sight without a ghost ring so this definitely has upper hand compared to any peacekeeper default skin the legendary peacekeeper is also no match to this one in my opinion because we have tactical sprint in this so you feel engaging like i said before this is probably the best for fr 556 we have fr 556 super highway which at the time i considered as the best legendary skin they have ever made because this has such cool features it has a musical kill effect it has a pay to win iron sight it has a kill counter and the reactive effects completely change the gun so compared to the fr 556 stupid looking iron sight this one is much better and very easy to use now we move on to the as well for as well we got multiple different skins and we have really good epics i'm not going to lie but considering we have a mythic with tactical sprint and all that especially with the doctor strange kill effect how can we forget the mythic as well i can't and that's why it's the best skin for the as well for me as well is not a hard gun to use you know the default iron sights are also very easy to use so we should not really consider about the iron sight we should consider other things when it comes to as well like the whole feeling when you use the gun all right now we move on to the cr56 now in my previous video cr56 best skin was the other legendary skin but for this we have this skin this is feral tusker one of my favorite legendaries they have ever made because it simply is so cool look at the kill effect guys it's one of the biggest kill effects they have ever made and it is so fun this single point iron sight is one of the best so easy to use for the m13 should i say which is the best skin because you already know and you are already seeing it the m13 morning star the best mythic in most people's point of view i guess because it simply has one of the best designs they have ever made maybe the best design ever it's just unreal and it is so easy to use with this iron sight i don't know it feels
feels like aimbot to me sometimes. Maybe because I have been using the gun for so long. It's in my muscle memory or something like that. I bet most of you all think the same too because although M13 is nerfed, people still use it in rank. It's just so cool how good it is even after nerfing it multiple times. For the swordfish we have two legendaries and in my previous video the best skin was the other legendary. But right now I consider this as the best because this has a much bigger scope and you see more of the enemy meaning you can get a better aim. I do not use the swordfish often to be honest but considering how good the legendary design and all that I love this legendary especially the reload it sounds really good. It is also designed like a seahorse which is very unique and it's the very first seahorse skin in call of duty mobile and probably the last then we go to kilo one for one look at this iron side guys this is one of the best mythic iron sides they have ever made probably the best one right it's just so precise so clear so simple and that makes this mythic kilo one for one so easy to use if you don't have the mythic kilo one for one such a shame because this is literally one of the easiest guns to use in the game then we move on to Odin the Odin mythic has iron side that is very similar to the AK-47 Frostbrand it's like the same thing with a different color Odin is also a very underrated gun it's so sad because it's a really good gun but very less people use it maybe because of this low fire rate but with this iron side you will not feel the difference you don't miss shots like how you miss with the default or an epic Gordon. And then we move on to Creek 6. Do I have to say it? Oh, this is the third time I'm saying it. This mythic Creek 6 Ice Drake is probably the most popular mythic they have ever released in the recent history. I don't think there's any mythic that came to that level in the previous year. Especially because it was a mastercraft in Cold War. And now with major improvements it came to Call of Duty Mobile. One of the major improvements is that it has a pay to win inbuilt red dot. I consider this as the most pay to win iron side they have ever made because considering the base weapon which is very ugly when it comes to the iron side it has no chance against this one so probably after kilo one for one this is the best iron side they have ever made and it is a mythic so we have tactical spin and all that so it's just unbeatable and with that we have come to the end the final assault rifle in the list that is going to be the em2 which is very recent which came out this season and you know the mythic em2 is so far the only skin that came out with a custom design for the EM2 and since it comes with an inbuilt scope this one also has something like a scope but it's not a scope I don't know what it is looks like a scope but it's actually like a red dot and it is very easy to use and that's it for this video we have seen all the assault rifles and my best picks for each of these assault rifles as the best skin you may have different things to say about this list if you do let me know in the comment section and what do you think is the best skin for your given assault rifle i would love to hear and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this video helpful and enjoyable leave a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing and don't forget to click on the bell icon watch my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one